get your employee file. So your name is... Wait a minute. What? Why the heck did you come here? Weren't those six nights enough? Okay, okay, you know what? Let, let's just do our tasks normally. And pretend everything is normal, even though there is an absurdly high probability it isn't, considering what you saw at the last place. Anyways, your name is... John Anderson, yes? Okay. You worked at Mike's Mine two years ago on the one week it was open. We had to shut down afterwards. Okay. Let me just give you a quick rundown of what we have. We have a bunch of stuff that, com that comes from every location. Rails, chests, furnaces, hoppers, cauldrons. You name it, we got it somewhere in here. We also have the Creeper Bot. You may remember I mentioned him in your first night. Before the first guard, we had a robot to take care of that. We sent him to the company that manufactured him, Command Inc., if I'm truly not mistaken, and they fixed him up, even added a voice box. He's on the parts and service, the room on your left. So, the, so go there, and I'll explain what you need to do. the check system button. Don't worry about any other buttons as they are unimportant to you as of right now. Welp, here's the office. The place where we spent the worst time of our lives. Yes, our. It was also a guard at Mike's. I was the first guard, the one that came before you. Anyways, your job is pretty simple. If you flip up the camera tablet, you'll be able to watch every single camera in the place. Except the vents, those are... broken. But don't worry, I'm pretty sure no one will go in there. If you go into the parts and service camera, you'll probably notice that shock button. You only need to use that if the creeper bot starts moving. We don't know why he moves, but that's why we gave you the shock button. Also, the thing is, the shock system will probably fail at some point. If you try to shock the creeper bot and hear this really weird buzzing sound, just click the green button at the top of the screen that says Systems, then you can reboot the shock system, allowing it to work again until it might mess up again. And that should be enough. Don't worry about the fire sprinkler. You don't, you won't need that. At least, not yet. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.
of the mine, and if you had died on the premises of the mine, we would have to first fire you, and then extract you from the building and hide your body. Anyways, just go into the parts and service on a brighter note, I'll keep talking to you in there. Okay, just do the usual stuff. 
stuff because there's something I need to say to you. Remember that on your sixth night I promised I would tell you what happened? No, I obviously didn't. I mean, you just disappeared. Poof. Gone. I sat at the shop waiting almost three hours for you and you were just... you were gone. So, I'll tell you what really happened. Back in 2014 when the original location was open and stuff, the owner, Microsoft, Yes, his name is a pun. Disappeared without a trace and mine closed down. Well, at the end of the week, you were working at Mike's. We went to the original location to get some equipment since our budget was trash. We ended up finding Mike's body shoved in a pool of lava. Don't ask me why he didn't just get completely melted after peeing there for near two years. I'm just an employee that tells you what you need to do. I don't explain video game logic. Okay, they, they think that's enough of that creepy story. Sorry if you didn't want to hear that. Now if you're done, you can go to the office. Okay, there's only one new thing you need to worry about this night. An Enderman. Yes, a freaking, stinking, dumb enderman. He used to appear out of nowhere and tried to attack some people. That's why you need the fire sprinkler. How convenient. It's simple. If he's on the camera right next to your door, just put the tablet down, and then press the blue button next to the door. You'll hear a lot of water. If you hear a really weird sound instead, then you'll probably need to fix the sprinkler system in the system screen. I'm not sure why he decided to show, but I guess this is just his new home. We tried forcing him out, that didn't work, and we really can't shut this place down. And I think that's all for this night, and I'll see you tomorrow.
Just kidding, I just have a very bad sense of humor. Anyways, I don't think there's anything different this night, just do the usual stuff that you would usually do. Warning? Um, I... Oh boy, um... Just ignore that. When the technicians come over during the day, they'll fix it, alright? that the Enderman and Creeperbot are getting faster, which could be bad. Not only that, but the systems are failing more frequently, which is just freaking great. But I'm sure you know what you're doing, seeing as you worked at the other place and you've dealt with worse. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully.
Spending a comment on how you're still alive. Nope, I just wanted to say that nothing's changed tonight. You can continue with your normal job.
lights and service, and then I'll tell you what's new later. Hold up! Wait, wait, wait a minute, what? Where the heck is he? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, just, just, um, go to the, go to the office. Forget about that. Forget about everything. Okay, this is just getting weirder and weirder. Guess who's back? That white-eyed ghost you told me about yesterday. Last time you saw him, you just flashed the light at him. But now you don't have a flashlight. To be honest, I don't know how to deal with him. But I'm sure you might be able to figure it out yourself. I'll see you tomorrow.